Hey, what's up guys? So I'm gonna be uh, um, t pretty much testing uh, Canon G7X Mark II and Panasonic Linux LX10 again. But this time, I'm uh, stabilizing LX10 with GU Crane and and Canon is handheld by my left hand. And uh, I'm shooting both the cameras with auto uh, setting. So ISO settings up to uh, uh, camera. Uh, so far, LX10 looks way brighter and it's sharper than uh, Canon G7X. And because I'm using uh, um, GM Crane, M. Uh, LX10 looks way smoother right now. Because uh, uh, I have a 600 bucks uh, gimbal. So it's the, the most stabilized image of footage that you could ever get with this gimbal, right? So, yeah, uh, so far uh, LX10 looks way sharper, which is pretty nice. Um, in terms of um, brightness, LX10 looks a little bit brighter. You know, the last time I shot uh, test videos, uh, Canon G7X, Canon G7X Mark II looked sharper. I mean, like brighter. But this time, somehow LX10 wins. All right. So let's run. I'm running right now, and I'm walking. Uh, Alex and looks so sweet. It's like amazing. Uh, let's run. I'm running and walking. Uh, it's pretty cool, huh? All right, let's stop it. All right, so now I'm just standing in the corner. Canon seems to be darker this time as well. You know, I love the standardized image on LX10 with GM Crane M. It's like, it's so smooth. Like, silky smooth. You know, Canon looks way, you know, way more shaky. Canon. You know, this is a genius. This uh, GM Crane. Right? Okay, let's stop it. Alright guys, so I'm here, uh, a place where there's a little source of light and this is a place that are uh, really good for stress testing, low light performance of Canon G7X Mark II and Panasonic LX10. So definitely right now uh, Canon looks brighter because it's, uh, I can see um, I also shoot up right now. Yeah, so Canon's ISO is pretty high, that's why it looks brighter, but it doesn't look as sharp as uh, LX10. So, if you see it, this Canon doesn't look as sharp. Now let's see the sky. See, this is a difference. LX10 looks a little darker. So that's what it looks like. Um, so let's see. So what I did right now for LX10 is uh, I uh, spiked up uh, exposure level, like white balance exposure level for Panasonic LX10 so that it looks just as bright as uh, Canon G7 X Mark II. So, how about this? You know, it looks pretty similar as far as I can t I can see from uh, in the uh, screens of the cameras. But I guess LX10 started having more noise uh, because uh, exposure level is higher. Let's see the sky. See, you can see the clear noise in the sky. But it looks brighter, right?
Alright guys, so right now, uh, shooting two cameras, selfie video mode, little light source, Canon, can detect my face, LX can right now, and LX10 right now, the exposure is standard, that's why it looks darker. Let's spike up, ramp up, exposure level of Panasonic Galaxy 10 right now. Yep, so this is after ramping up the exposure level of LX10 to the maximum, like positive 3. So this is the maximum that you can bring up the exposure level in LX10. And it looks definitely brighter than before, but not as much as bright as uh, Canon because I'm not controlling ISO level of LX10 by doing that but definitely it looks uh, I guess brighter Canon is always brighter so what do you think? Uh, it looks, uh, LX10 still looks pretty darn sharp Canon looks you know pretty a uh, little bit washed out little details are missing because of a high ISO. What do you guys think? Yeah. Just so you know, there's little light sources here. So both of them are doing pretty good. Right. And now I brought uh, Canon, no, LX10's exposure level to the standard. So with the standard exposure level, zero, my face is very, very visible, right? Let's bring it back to the maximum again. All right, so back again. Uh, a little bit more visible for sure. So I guess this is enough, right? Because I don't want to lose too much about video uh, image quality by, you know, ramping up ISO exposure level. And this LX10 is already doing a pretty good job here on the street, really pretty dark, so just Canon is just you know, doing exceptional by its you know ISO, it's not necessary uh, sensor quality per se. So yeah, uh, I don't think I uh, really need to bring up exposure level of uh, LX10 like this because I would probably never shoot video on the street like this. Maybe, maybe if I'm walking home from somewhere on a dark street, I see it looks pretty similar. But Canon looks way, uh, have way more noise. LX10 looks pretty darn sharp. So I like LX10's uh, video quality better than uh, Canon. <laughs> okay, so this is side by side LX10's exposure level standard. Uh, aperture 1.4, whereas Canon, I think I I think ISO is like 1600, right? But image and video quality wise, definitely like LX10 is gonna win. And now LX10's exposure level is maximum, which looks pretty bright. Almost to the point of like Canon G7 Mark, G7 X Mark II on the side. So without losing much of a uh, video quality on LX10, which is good, right? Which is good. So let's zoom in. Okay, so this is almost the same, right? You probably would be able to see more noise after zooming in. What do you guys think? Uh, how much noise does Alex have right now? Okay, this is a comment. Same thing right now here, yep. Just zoom out a little bit. Okay. Alright, so yeah, 
right now. I see noise on the in the sky LX10. But yeah, first of all, I need to say both of them are doing pretty good job in low light situation like this. Most of the standard camera can never have a, this bright image ever. Cause, okay, so let's bring down the exposure level to the normal. Send it. All right, let's see the sky again. Yeah, okay, I see. It's way darker right now, I understand. Right? But sharper. I think, uh, you know, if you bring up exposure level to 3, they look almost the same. See, Canon has so much noise. I can see, I can tell it. I can tell f even from looking at the screen. Whereas uh, LX10, I can barely see the noise. Okay, bring up the exposure level again. Let's see. Right now it's 3, and right now it's going down to 0. This is minus 3. Okay, let's do 3, right? 3. It's almost the same, on par. But less noise on LX10. Do you ever need to bring up exposure for this side? Probably no. But in a dark situation like that, maybe, you know, at the expense of a little bit of, you know, loss in video quality meaning that I'm just proving the fact but I'm just pro proving the point that you can even use LX10 in a dark situation like this and perform as good or even better than Canon LX10 in terms of uh, noise you know LX10 looks so good right now uh, so Pretty good. It extends so bright, less noise. Cause it's a uh, aperture 1.4. Right? So I think. Uh, because I have GM Crane M, I already bought this. So I don't, if I use GM Crane M as in combination with uh, LX10, LX10 is gonna beat Canon G7 X Mark II. In terms of uh, quality, video and image quality, LX10 is better. Uh, brightness is not uh, gonna be an issue because you can always uh, ramp up uh, exposure level. Stabilization is a thing that I was uh, worried about, but, uh, yeah. yeah. This is Canon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Japanese, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Me you too. got the two cameras. Yeah, I'm testing two cameras right now. Nice. Yeah. Oh, so it doesn't shake this one. Yeah, this is a stabilizer. Nice. Gimbal. Oh.